What's up guys and welcome back to How to Rip. This is lesson of the week and today I'm going to share with you my experiences surfing a fish for a week. There's some pretty cool things to learn. Let's get into it. If you're new here, this is Lesson of the Week, a show where we release a new surf tip every single week dissecting the art of surfing. So make sure you subscribe to the channel now so you don't miss out. There are three major things that I learned while surfing this fish for a week. And number one is to let the wave determine your surfing. A lot of us, and myself included, are guilty of actually trying to over surf waves and that's probably because we get a little bit too excited whereas on a fish you can't actually do that you have to allow the wave to determine your approach with fish surfboards you can't force radical turns like airs or rotational maneuvers on a fish there is much more time spent in the pocket of the wave and this is a helpful lesson for surfing on regular boards too You almost have to become one with the wave, as cliche as it sounds, and allow it to dictate how you surf. As mentioned, it's a valuable lesson to take with you when you jump on a regular board. When I first paddled out on the fish, I carried my mindset of being on a shortboard and I tried to overpower the waves. You can't do it. You simply can't do it when riding that board. The next lesson that I learned is to watch the wave closely and this ties in with lesson number one you have to be able to monitor what the wave is doing and adjust your approach accordingly sometimes we're guilty of becoming too obsessed with how we're flowing along the wave where i think what we really need to do is look at the wave and what it's doing and change our surfing accordingly again this is probably a good lesson for all surfers and to be reminded to become extremely present and cognizant of what the wave is doing always helps me surf better on all surfboards taking the fish out in heavier steep surf really pushed me to focus harder on reading the waves and reacting in intelligent ways sometimes not so intelligently and that's really Essentially the whole game of surfing is to try and fit in with the wave, is to try and flow with the wave. And if you're not actually looking, and I mean consciously, using your eyes to look at what the lip is doing, to look at what the sand is doing, to look at what the foam is doing, then you are going to inherently miss the certain sections on a wave which could offer some pretty incredible opportunities to display your art that is surfing. Some of my favourite people to watch on a fish are guys like Torin Martin and Dave Rastovich and you'll notice that their styles almost become a little bit enhanced or they sort of almost overdo it when they're on these fish boards and that ties into lesson number three and that's to use your front arm and use your entire body in emphatic movements to better enable you to surf. And that's simply because with these fish surfboards, they are not quite as reactive, and some would even say overreactive, like a traditional shortboard. You actually have to nurse some turns. You have to flow and you have to use your arms very emphatically, uh, and your legs and your knees and your ankles and your core, simply to be able to control the surfboard in a way that allows you to continue to surf the waves in the way that you want to. And that's something that I learned is that it's okay to actually overemphasize a certain movement to go up to the top of the wave like this and come back down to generate a lot of speed so that you can rip it into another maneuver. It's something that surfing on the fish really brings out in you, your natural, instinctive, intuitive style. And that's something that I think really carries over after you get off the fish to your regular surfboard and it's something that I'm really grateful for. Every time I hop on the fish I find that my backhand surfing tends to improve and I think that's because I allow myself, I allow my body to actually open up and do what it needs to do to get into the positions that I want to on a wave. Everybody, those were the three things that I learned while surfing a fish 
for a week. Do you guys love fishes? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want to keep up to date with me and my surfing, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Kale's Broccoli. Right now, I'm looking at some pumping wedges and I'm going to get back out there. So I'll see you guys later.